Hello everybody, this is John from PhoneDog.com and this video is for all the G1 hackers and modders out there. I really shouldn't be messing around with this kind of thing today, but hey, Kiro came on Twitter and posted a link for his new HTC Build Soft keyboard, and it's beautiful. I figured I might as well make a video to show you guys what it's like. Let's get to it. Alright, so here's the link where you can get the instructions for installing the HTC Soft keyboard. If you don't know what any of this means, you probably shouldn't be messing around with it. ADB is a tool that you can get with the Android SDK, which you can download for free from Google. Um, beyond that, uh, I think I should just pretty much leave it up to you to figure it out. So once you've transferred the files over and rebooted your phone, you go into your settings, locale and text, and I used to have Android keyboard checked. That's the black theme keyboard. You uncheck that and you'll have a new option for touch input. You select that and the next time you go to input some text you'll see that when I tap into a text field I get this lovely light themed soft keyboard there's a settings button right here all of your text input options language layout in portrait mode and in landscape and you can see that's uh, pretty spacious there I have predictive text enabled I can also enable spell correction and I want to select check spelling before suggesting words. Let's turn on some audio feedback and word completion there as well. Let's see what happens. Okay. And I don't know if you can hear that very light clicking. That's uh, the sentence selected by autocorrect for me there. But there's a button to make the uh, keyboard go away. You know, I have to use the back key. Why don't we try out another one of these uh, keyboard types here and just see what happens in an SMS. So for those of you who really prefer that, you can switch between XT9 and the regular here. Let's check out the compact QWERTY and see what that's like. So that's like the uh, the BlackBerry Flip, I believe, which I'm not uh, real fond of, but if you like it, it's available for you. And that's one of the great things about this uh, new keyboard is all the options. And one last look in portrait mode, and one more in landscape. And just as a comparison, portrait and landscape. So maybe you do have a little bit more room, but as you can see, the keys are closer together. HTC keyboard. HTC Portrait. So there you go, it's pretty nice, the HTC Build Android Keyboard. I'll post the link to Hikiro's blog again at the end here. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned to PhoneDog.com. Take care. <laughs>